Have you ever seen a product demonstration or even your local news where a graphic or the text will pop up on the screen? Hi, I'm Ken with Learning Zen. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the pop-up zoom effect in Camtasia. All right, here we are inside Camtasia 2022. The first thing you're going to do once you have your content on your timeline is you're going to copy that. And you're going to place it on the track above your original content. Now with that top track selected, you're going to go to the top here and you're going to select crop. And now we're going to just crop down to this box. So let's bring this down to here. And I want to get it to as close as possible because whatever is left is what's going to pop up on the screen. So there we go. So we have that set. And now you can't even tell that it's there. Now to make this pop, what we're going to do is come over to our toolbar on the left, select animations, custom animation, and we're going to drag that down onto the top track, the one that we just cropped. And depending on where you want this to start or how long, uh, this graphic or this text is going to be on the screen. Uh, that is totally up to you. you. You determine that on whatever you're working on. I'm actually going to make these a little bit uh, longer. And so now we have the custom animation on the timeline. I'm going to come to the end. So when the dot lights up red, I know I'm at the end of the animation. And now I'm going to adjust the scale. Actually, first, and I just saw this because this is blue. Let me go back to edit before I start trying to move things around. <laughs> so edit, you might want to make sure you do that too. Make sure you're on edit now and adjust the scale. So I'm going to bring the scale up and then I'm going to drag it into place of where I want it. I think we'll put it right there. And now I'm going to test this. So let's see what this does. Perfect. All right. And now if I want it to go back into place, what I will do again, animations, custom, I'm going to bring that down again, place it wherever your timing is or, you know, wherever you need it to be when it comes back down to regular size. So again, we're going to go make sure that that dot is red. We're at the end of the animation. And now what I'm going to do is just adjust back so that it zooms back down. So to do that, what I want to do now in this one, it's very simple, but in some of, uh, in some of the projects you may be working on, it might not be as straightforward. Maybe you've already scaled up the image that you're using or the graphic and now you're going to manipulate it again. So the first thing that I always do when I'm bringing anything back down to where it originally was is I go back to where it started. So I'm going to bring my playhead down and bring it on that initial dot there. And I can see that the scale was 150 and all of the position was zero. So now I'm going to come back again to the end of my animation scale 150 position everything was at zero enter and now we're right back so there you go that's how you can pop out a graphic or text now one of the things that i did also is i also added a highlight and again just to draw more attention, add a little bit more to your video. 
And to do that, again, back over to the left to the toolbar. This time I'm going to select annotations and I'm just going to take this uh, white square and drag it down onto my timeline. Now, I want to place this right at the end of this first animation. So that's where I want this to start. So I'm gonna line it up there and then I'm going to drag it to the start of the next animation. And here is my box. I'm gonna bring it down to where I want to place it. And what I want to do is highlight this 30 to 50% of their salary. Now, obviously it's being covered. So what I'm gonna do is bring down the opacity so that I can see through. And now I can make my adjustments. When you're making these minor adjustments, I would recommend that you make sure that the snapping is uh, turned off. And to do that, you would come up to view and enable canvas snapping. I have it turned off. So if it's on for you, that's if you're seeing the yellow lines on the canvas, you can click here and disable uh, the canvas snapping and that'll let you have a little bit more control of your sizing here. All right, so we're good there. Now, I don't know about you. I haven't seen too many highlights that were white. Most of the time they're yellow and yellow is perfect because it's easy. It's easy to change. So what you'll do now is come over to your properties on the right where your shape is and we're going to adjust the color. And quick tip to get to yellow, the hex key is hashtag FFFF00. So if you just come down and click and change these last two Fs on the default and put in 00, zero enter, now you're yellow. You now we have that. Okay, so let's run this through and see real quick. That's good. I think I'm going to bring the opacity here down a little bit. I want people to be able to see the text and the yellow to highlight it, not cover it. So I think right there is good. Maybe I can make it a little brighter. There you go. All right. Now it just pops on. Great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that it comes across as if a highlighter is being drawn across the screen. And to do that, again, I'm going to go to the left to my tool, uh, my tool menu. This time, select Transitions. And the transition I'm looking for is Slide Right. Now I'm just scrolling down. If you wanted to get to it quickly, you could come to Type and go to Wipes and your slide right is right there. So I'm gonna bring that and I'm going to put it onto my highlight. I'm gonna drag this out a little bit and let's see what this looks like now. Perfect, there we go. So I have this starting right at the end of the first animation where it pops up, then we'll do the highlight and now we need to uh, have the highlight go away and then it will fade away. And for this, I like to use, uh, again, the transitions. And I'm just going to go with a fade here on the end and just have this fade out. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. Now, when you're putting two different transitions on a piece of content, just make sure that one does not affect the other. Sometimes when you just grab a transition and drag it down, it will place it there. You can see it's red. It will place it on both ends. So just make sure that this transition didn't change. And I just clicked on the transition. And if you look on the right on the properties, slide right, we're good to go. So let's take a look at what this whole thing looks like now. Highlight, 
and then off and back down. And there it is. How to pop out zoom and highlight either text or a graphic. If you like this video or any of the videos on our channel, why don't you go ahead and give us a like, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and we'll be coming out with new videos every week. Until next time, remember, laugh more, learn more. See ya.